that's my train off as well. I have been contacted by the Woodland Group of UK councillors with a complaint that the site allocation policies development plan document will conceal crime. That crime is that the local development plan has altered the policy area allocated to housing development in respect to the Park School and Treasure Institute site and has therefore, I quote, flexed planning to give the developer greater value. This was first raised by those councillors in March 2014. It was explained at that time why the change was being made, which was to join up with the boundary line, planned limits of development along the northern limits of the adjoining built up area to the west of the site. This allocation, along with all of the other allocations, was placed in the public document as from before Cabinet of Scrutiny, <coughs> as from to public consultation and has been examined at the local public inquiry as we've heard this evening. The members have not specified what crime they believe has been committed, nor do I know what evidence these members or anyone else might have in support of these allegations. This is one of a continual pattern of unsubstantiated allegations these councillors have made against officers and members of this council in the preceding months and years. If these members wish to discuss this matter with me afterwards, I will ensure their concerns are dealt with, and if they do have any evidence with which to substantiate these allegations, I will ensure they are independently and thoroughly investigated. If there is no such evidence, I am sure that the councillors concerned will wish to publicly retract the statement just made and make a public apology to the officers of this council and their fellow members. In the meantime, I would like to assure you, assure you members that there is no legal reason that I know of as to why this policy may not be adopted this evening.